Welcome, gentle gamers, to the MTG Greybeard, where I'm going to start out with the sealed event. Let's do a sealed deck for Crimson Vow. I'll receive six packs. Playing for gems. Oh, you know what? But before I enter, I do want to go ahead and get the Mastery Pass. Unlock the Mastery Pass. 3,400 gems. Oh, you can get 10 levels automatically for 2,000 gems. I'll skip that. As I know that I'm probably going to, in 90 days, go up a level that many times. So I get the Chandra Sleeve, I get the Bat, and I get the Mastery Tree, which is a lot of fun. And I like the way you get the cards from the older sets and the Mythic Card rewards and whatnot. There's some cool stuff. As you go along, you get coins, you get gems, you get a draft token. I still haven't completed my Strixhaven collection. I did a lot of Strixhaven drafting. I've got all the commons and uncommons, I think, at this point. Maybe still missing a few uncommons. Forgotten Realms, I'm only missing one or two rares. It would be great to get a Book of Exalted Deeds or Vile Darkness or whatever it is. Oh yeah, it's the Book of Vile Darkness that lets you complete Vecna. Still could use a lot of the Kaldheim stuff in my collection. Zendikar, same thing. Be happy to get lots of packs of Crimson Vow and maybe get a complete playset like I did of Midnight Hunt. If I can get up to 80, I'll get uh, Nifty Sigardus Summons Sleeve. Can I make it all the way to 90 where there's more Mythic Card rewards? There's more gems. All right. Let's see how we do in our first sealed deck event. I usually do just one of the sealed decks. I prefer the uh, the draft format because you get your pick, you know. But here, I got to work with what I get. So, huh? Trainers and counting, counters and training. I like having the is it uh, double land curse of hospitality. Creatures attacking enchanted player has trample. Huh. That might be colon a vampire or a werewolf deck. Demonic bargain I'm not so sweet on. In a 40 card deck. Exile the top 13. No thanks. Might be nifty as a uh, as a tutor in uh, one of constructed formats. But gosh, that's not a rare you're happy to have. Now Falcon Wrath Forebear is a blood tokens matter sort of a guy. And Kaya Geist Hunter gives my creatures death touch and counters, so that goes with the hopeful initiate. Exile cards from all graveyards create a spirit token with flying for each card exiled that way. Oh, and I can uh, create twice as many tokens. That'll be handy in my uh, Tasa Karlov Historic Brawl deck. So let's see what do I have here. I got a couple of adamant wills. That's the good uh, white combat trick. Throw a couple of those in there. Drog skull infantry. I feel like spirits are gonna matter. Hopeful initiate. I feel like goes with my uh, my mythic rare there. Blood fountain. If I'm doing blood tokens. Doomed Dissenter. I don't know if I'm doing Zombies and Sacrifice. Well, that's removal. It's expensive removal. I got three Grizzly Rituals. I probably don't want to play all three. I'll play maybe one. Courier Bat. Life Gain Matters. Uh, aim for the Head. I like the way it exiles cards from the hand. Groom's Finery, did I get Bride's Gown? We can search real quick. I did not get Bride's Gown, so Groom's Finery isn't going to be too super helpful. Unless I'm doing Enchantments Matter. So this is a flash tap down 
kind of like the tap and down part of it. Mischievous Cat Geist I'm excited to get. That's going to be one that's fun to play with. Starting to wonder if I'm uh, doing a uh, oh, cipher board. That'll be fun to play with. I can already start making goofy standard decks. Draw and create a blood token. Vampire soldier becomes a vampire knight. Likes it when there's a lot in your graveyard. Gluttonous guest. Likes it when you sacrifice blood tokens. And then my uh, rare forebear likes uh, blood tokens. Can return it to the from the graveyard by sacrificing blood tokens. So I'm going to want lots of things that make blood tokens. I got Kaya. Do I want the Lantern of the Lost? Exile is a card a target from a graveyard. Exile all cards from graveyards and then draw a card. Whew. I do like the option of graveyard hate. It'll be nice to have that in my sideboard for use against disturbed decks and whatnot. Add one many color. Omens transforms. Hmm. That seems pretty good. It's going to become a 5-5. Five, five. I use it to fix my mana. Now, did I want to try playing blue in this deck, too, or have I got a deck? It look like, looks like I've practically got a deck here. Catapult fodder. Might be good. How many creatures have toughness greater than their power? The hopeful initiate does... The gluttonous guest does. Rot Tide Gargantua. I'm not really playing the exploit sort of deck, but I can use a five drop, can use a curve topper, destroy a creature, create two. Oh, I've already got one of those. Don't want to have too many spells. Uh, when this guy attacks, untap a creature. Can't attack alone, but that is kind of okay. Griff Rider, Flying Training, Vamp Slayer. I definitely need two drops. Heron of Hope. Give it lifelink, which goes well with my other life gain matters kind of stuff. Angelic Quartermaster seems pretty cool. On ETBs, you put counters. When this guy attacks, you can pay two to make a creature with flying gain flying. Do I need more four drops? Just need to add three cards here. I still feel like I need creatures, I need two drops. What do I add? Do I add the Unhallowed Phalanx? That goes with the uh, the synergy for the creatures uh, that have more toughness than power. So for Catapult Fodder, that'll help to transform Catapult Fodder. Oh, and that goes very well with the Unhallowed Phalanx. Doom to Center, need another 2-drop Persistent Specimen. I can recur sacrificing it and use my exploit dude also what have i got here eight planes and nine swamps i don't have any weird lands blood fountain does create a blood token can return creatures from the graveyard i like blood tokens i don't know if i like them so much that i want to play the blood fountain I guess we got a deck here. Now am I sure that these are the colors I want to play? Let's look at what good stuff I have in blue. Got the cat guys. Got the, I'm not really seeing anything that's absolutely pulling me into blue. What about red? So 
penguin statuette likes blood tokens. I could go black red and do blood tokeny sort of stuff. But I think I'm gonna wrap it around Kaya. I've got this angel. Not too much in the high mana category. I think I got a deck here. Let's do this. Let's play. Can always make changes with my sideboard. But here we are, my first game in the new format, Crimson Vow. We're going to a vampire wedding here. We're bringing Kaya, so I guess we're sort of um, crashing the vampire wedding against the Harry Horror Show. Well, I guess I like the draw well enough. I'm not going to go down and get the unhallowed phalanx out eventually. I'm wishing I had some early plays. Not exactly curving out here. Not worried about a Parish Blade trainee, wishing I had more mana. Kindly Ancestor. Well, they would be happy with the, the whole uh, situation of uh, toughness more than power. So I'm going up against some kind of spirits white-blue flyers disturb humans train I've already got me a blood token my very first oh I love the little animation there do I want to block lifelink training hopefully they don't have a trick this is not a suspicious attack you know they want to attack even if it's going to be blocked Well, 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 I'll be able to transform my catapult fodder on the very next turn. Now, discard a card, sacrifice, draw a card. Do I want to discard a grizzly ritual or a rot tide gargantua or a point of discussion? I guess I can sacrifice that, but it would make me lose a blood token. I'm going to discard the point of discussion. Oh, I suppose I should have attacked, but I guess it's better to hold up a blocker. Now on this turn, when I play the Unhallowed Phalanx, it will transform my zombie. They forgot to train? I wonder what happened there. Oh, is it you may? Oops. Oh, we're turning into a serpent. Oh, no. Oh, that was a big mistake. Because I was about to uh, do some shenanigans there. Well, hopefully I can get some stuff back out of the graveyard. So I'll play the Unhallowed Phalanx. Oh, I can't drop a planes. It's too late. Oh, that was a big mistake. Dorothy, a vengeful victim. I guess I will exploit the hopeful initiate. So hopeful, so exploitable. You're gonna sacrifice your unholy officiant. I'm not gonna attack. Oh, I wish I hadn't blocked. I should have just taken the damage. Hopefully I can still get my uh, do it out of the graveyard, but oof, I just feel so silly. Well, I'm going to take four from Dorothea. They're going to go to the graveyard. That's where my graveyard hate might come in handy. So I might sideboard in that graveyard hate artifact. Okay. 
And I need to sideboard in, not making a stupid mistake like getting got by the serpent. I'm not really that good at card, honestly. Okay, so Grizzly Ritual on the trainee. Get rid of that aura that I do not like. Oh, but you get to put its counters, huh? And now I'm going to pop a blood token. Drop a planes. Gain a life. Oh, I got the courier back coming. Well, they're only dealing three damage, but they are life linking. Then again, I'd like to get some damage across. Let's see what happens. Take some damage. Oof, I would just have already won this game if I could have used Catapult Fodder to ugh, do some damage there. Well, foreboding statue I want to get out as quick as I can. How come I can't tap it? Oh, because it's an artifact creature. And then we'll play as a courier bat. And they will all attack. Oh no! They got the Kraken. Nice. Oof. Well, first game I, I got taught. Hullbreaker Horror, Flash, can't be countered. I guess... Yeah, there's no way I'm transforming that statue. When I'm getting hit like that. Oof. Grizzly match. This is not going my way. Each player chooses a non land permanent they control. Everything else gets bounced back. I suppose I should have cho chosen the Phalanx, but it enters the battlefield tap. Yeah. Well, we got ourselves a glutinous guest. Well, we had fun playing around with uh, blood tokens. No, 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 I'm not going to attack. Glutinous guest. Double fist in it. Falcon Wrath Forebear, kind of a nifty rare to get to play with. Not as cool as the Hullbreaker Horror. Do I block? Let's get glutinous. Ugh, where's my stupid tokens? I need blood tokens. I am so thirsty for blood right now. I'm just kind of hanging in there trying to find out more things about my opponent's deck at this point. They've got the Lantern Bearer. Definitely like the idea of cycling in that, uh, that uh, graveyard hate stuff. Block you. Block you. Aim for the head. Is the Hullbreaker Horror a zombie? It's not.
XL two cards, chump. Let's go ahead and concede, go to the sideboard. Well, this is an example of a white blue flyers kind of a deck. Flyers disturb. Let's go to the sideboard. Let's see what changes we can make. Oh, these are best of one games. I'm not going to my sideboard. I stand corrected. There's your cake topper. Wonder how many people are gonna have Crimson Vow themed vampire weddings in the year of our Lord 2022. I hope lots. I want to crash them all. Steel Rabbit. Well, you're gonna face the adamant will of my Drog Skull infantry. And we can have a point of discussion in which I draw more cards. Oh, I like getting out the cavalry. They uh, make people fly and they train. Need to make sure to play a planes on this second turn. Point of discussion, third turn. Get a blood token for my trouble. Those things have many uses. Apprentice Sharpshooper. Looks like I'm going up against some kind of a werewolf deck. Okay, draw two cards, lose two life, create a blood token. No attacks. Lots of stuff I might potentially discard. Doom Dissenter is a nice chump blocker. My Bloodsworn Squire likes it if I got a lot in my graveyard. But he is just a 3 3. This guy's a 2 2 flyer. I want to fly over. Rory Prisoner. Need to make sure it doesn't change to Knight. They're just a day bound defender until it turns to Knight. I could potentially cast Adamant Will and Doomed Dissenter to double spell if I needed to change it to daytime. Like if they didn't play a spell on this turn, that's what I might do. Alright, I like my catapult fodder guy. So you did make it nighttime. Alright, and do you have reach? You have reach. Okay, next to combat. I'm going to attack with just the Griff, I think. Oh, I should have attacked with both, because, oh no, I don't want to block him with the Wrathful Jailer. Okay, so I'll cast Adamant Will. My Gladewing Cavalry is going to kill him, and then I can cast, oh, I'll cast Catapult Fodder. Okay, so, well, that's okay. What? It was, it was gaining indestructible. Oh, I should have cast my other adamant will. Oh, darn it. Oops. Well, that's bad. That was a big mistake. Just like in the last game, I made a really big mistake. This is what you pay the big bucks to see when you watch the MTG Greybeard. You watch a guy who doesn't always know exactly what he's doing. Now, do I want to cast the Dissenter? Or do I want to hold up? I'll hold up. Oh, I feel so stupid. I could have saved my guy with the adamant will, taken out his sharpshooter and all those cards. It would have been a many card exchange, but instead I lost in that exchange. And oh, that was not the optimal play, not the correct play. Leave a comment if you got any ideas about how I could be playing better at any time. 
If you agree with me about my analysis of the mistake, or if you've got something to add about some principle I should be following, I welcome any comments that might help me improve my game. That's why I'm here documenting my experience of this game. Howling Moon. Target wolf or werewolf gets plus two, plus two, huh? Well, let's see what you do with that. Do I want to do the discardy thing? Oh, there wasn't enough in my graveyard to do that. Oh, don't I feel silly. I think rather than play the Doom Dissenter, I will discard it. I needed to have four or more creature cards in my graveyard to transform him. Unhallowed Phalanx is a heck of a blocker. And one more for my catapult fodder. We'll have ourselves a transform event. Now the catapult farmer once transformed, I can sacrifice a creature to make my opponent lose life equal to their toughness, so 13 life. That's gnarly. Gnarly like a werewolf. I think I'll just take this. It's just five, right? They don't do anything special when they hit me. Oh, he deals damage when a permanent you control is dealt damage. Oh, that's brutal. Now we can make it day. Wait, I didn't make it day that way? I thought I played two spells on my turn. Oh, I guess I just played the one. I should have played the persistent specimen out of my graveyard. Oh, that was a big mistake. That was not a big mistake. Now it looks like Blood Moon. You're gonna exile him, huh? Oof, I may have lost this game. And I'll see how my Phalanx does here. So he'll do one damage from my Hallowed Phalanx. Unhallowed Phalanx, excuse me. Probably deal that damage to me, huh? Still haven't had a chance to play Kaya. Got a block here. Certainly not looking good here. But hey, we'll see what I draw. Oh, ouch, brutal.
good game. Welp. First sealed deck event not going so good. I did get one pretty cool rare in that Falcon Wrath Vampire. And I got Kaya, which will go good in my Historic Brawl deck, I think. Oh, look, and I've won another pack. Well, let's do this thing. Game three. Back against the wall. Facing elimination. Can I eke out one win? Nice to have new art as a background as I'm waiting. Catriel representing Nickel Bolos. Is that Nickel Bolos? Well, I've got a one drop and I've got some three drops. I'm almost curved out here. This specimen is indeed persistent. What item in your life would you refer to as the persistent specimen? Leave me a comment. Vampire Slayer, a two drop, means that I will curve out for the first three turns. It's a nifty sleeve there. I can aim for the head and make my opponent exile a couple cards out of their library or out of their hand. Or I could cast the foreboding statue. I'm thinking I'll wait on aim for the head. Do you want to trade? I play pretty aggressive. I often offer trades early like that. I don't want them to train up and get stronger. Don't think my opponent's going to be playing any zombies, so aim for the head is going to have to be... Gotta mute the mic for a moment. Alrighty, so, oh, they're using a piercing light. The white shock. Now here do I want to um, discard a, uh, a planes? Sure, let's take that risk. Ah, oh, and I get Kaya. Now I don't have any way to block their critter, so Kaya, hmm. She only puts counters on creature tokens. Oh, I don't know if Kaya was even really the right uh, right card for this deck. I didn't realize that her counter making was, was only for tokens. I don't really have any kind of token making potential in this deck. I'm going to lose this race. Unless I have some way to block and kill the Griff Rider. Now the Courier Bat didn't end up having too much synergy. I was really fooled by Kaya being a rare. Kyra was not the choice for this deck, I don't think. The Courier Bat will block. The Forebear will get some damage. Never ended up having enough blood tokens to bring him back from the graveyard. Uh, I definitely made some mistakes in deck building. Be curious to know if you think uh, I should have gone in another direction. Maybe a red-black uh, vampire deck would have been more the ticket. 
I'm going to go ahead and discard Kaya. Kaya, who will be great if I give a more token focus to the uh, the historic brawl deck with Tasa Karlov. Oh, there goes my blocker. No, I'm definitely losing this race. I'm going to take eight. I don't have an angelic quartermaster. Oof. Nice. So I guess I didn't have all that great a luck in rares for uh, for actually constructing a realistic deck. <sighs> Unblocking all. I'm not gonna put a counter on your Griff Rider. Sorry, buddy. I'm not even gonna be able to survive. Good game. And that's it. I'm eliminated. Hopefully I get some cool packs. You can stick around and watch me crack the packs. I am going to record my entire Crimson Vow experience as best I can. It's going to include messing around in uh, standard with uh, building decks using these cards. And all the different kind of draft and sealed and whatnot sort of events. So I've already gained a level on my Mastery Pass. I, I do recommend the Mastery Pass. I think it's a pretty good value. And I won three packs for my zero win run. Well, I learned some lessons. I really got taught. Got taken to school. Gutter Skulker. Oh, this is a neat one. Can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. That one will go real good with that, uh, that black artifact from Forgotten Realms. What's it called? The one that makes you uh, gain life and drain life. Howlback Piper. Well, there's a werewolf deck option. Cartographer's Survey is a nifty land rampy kind of a card. What else have we got? Blood Servitor. Create a blood token. Bride's Gown. Well, now I got it. My second blood fountain. Thalia, Guardian of Cra Thraben. Returning Beloved White card. Let's use that to stop Alrin's Epiphany, shall we? Mind Leech Ghoul. Alchemist Retrieval. I do love that there's alchemy stuff. You might not know that I'm, a, I'm an alchemy scholar in my spare time. Ballista Watcher. There's a signpost uncommon. Oh, and the Howling Moon that was used against me so effectively by that red and green. Werewolf deck. I wonder if werewolves are more viable in this format. Second Angelic Quartermaster. Cobbled Lancer. The Zombie Horse. Bojack, eat your heart out. And an Ascendant Pack Leader. Here's a nifty green one drop, making that uh, mono green deck more powerful and standard, right? Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a break and come back and do a draft.